Famous for her role in The Bitch, in 1985, Joan Collins was playing another bitch, Alexis, in Dynasty. But then she married husband number four, obscure former Swedish pop star, Peter Holm, and her life became a soap opera. Peter Holm and Joan Collins were the epitome of the guy who has no identity, and then he becomes somebody when he marries his much older girlfriend. He was 40, she was 54, I think. They married in 85. By 86, the marriage was annulled. The couple had signed a prenup, allowing the Swede 20% of Joni's wages. But having wormed his way into becoming her manager, he now demanded half. I think they got a divorce because Joan Collins finally figured it out that this guy was just, you know, scamming off her money. Earlier this month, Prior to the divorce, Holmes' behavior became increasingly erratic. First, he barricaded himself into the couple's home. Then he returned in a bizarre placard-wielding protest about how much he felt he was owed. Time to go to court. It was all lovey-dovey on the phone, you know, nice to see you then, kiss, kiss, and bye and everything. And uh, then at, uh, when I came to the lunch, she wasn't there, but there was a lawyer who just gave me the divorce papers. Then Colin's lawyer unearthed a story too ridiculous even for Dynasty. Marvin Mitchelson, John's lawyer, gets a phone call from a woman named Romina Danielson. She tells Marvin Mitchelson that she has been having an affair with Peter Holm while he's married to Joan Collins. They put her on the stand, and she starts explaining how she's been making love to Peter Holm. And it's very graphic, and it's very detailed. So hot were Danielson's revelations that she fainted. Although her evidence was struck from the record, the damage had been done. The court ruled in favor of Miss Collins. This was the first time, certainly not the last, but the first time that a man had the audacity to ask for palimony, alimony, whatever, for himself. After that, uh, he became a total laughing stock. This premarital agreement was valid, and the fact that it's been upheld by the American courts gives me great faith in American justice. Despite Joan's quip that she didn't need a husband, she needed a wife, she's now with hubby number five, Percy Gibson, a mere 32 years her junior.